Welcome wine lovers, today for the episode of the wine lands, actually the Italian wine lands, I'm taking you to Scanzano, southwest of Tuscany, and the wine is Morellino di Scanzano. So, first things first, where is it exactly? Well, it's one hour and something from Rome, and it's a couple of hours south of Florence. We are right on the sea in the beautiful, like there is 35 kilometers uh, stretch of land that goes from north to south, from the uh, Ombrone River to the Albania River. And right at the bottom of it is where the Romans were used to ship over to Marseille, to France truckloads, shiploads of Morellino di Scanzano. This is where people have been making wine for over 2,500 years. The Etruscans settled in Scanzano 2,500 years ago. Why? Because it's a beautiful land. It's a land that is protected by an extinct volcano, the Monte Amiata, 1,600 meters above the sea level, protecting Scanzano from the northern east winds. But not only that, is actually giving some fresh winds during summertime. Let me remind you that we are right on the sea. So as a result, the sea hands over a milder climate during the winter, but also a lot of heat. So the cool breezes coming down the mountain, meeting the sea breezes, create an incredible terroir situation. So imagine this, the blue of the sea, the sea breeze that is actually sometimes on the uh, southwest exposed vineyards deposits some of its salt on the berries. If you go in September and you eat some of those berries, you actually taste the sea, literally. Uh, but then on the, other side, on the other end, here is the Mount Amiata. So the soil from the Mount Amiata uh, getting down, we are, the first vineyards are around 600 meters above the sea level, not further than that because it's not possible to cultivate the vine over there. You will see volcanic soil. That's what it is. Even though the volcano, the volcano is extinct, it doesn't erupt anymore, you still have got volcanic soil. So as a result, some of the wines from the southeast end would have a smokier, more mineral character. Then you go down towards the sea and you have some clay. And in Tuscany, the compacted clay uh, over the 10 million years, it's called galestro. In the local lingo, it's called tischio. Then you might be coming across some more like sandier, uh, rockier kind of soil. And the wine over there will be a little bit more like generous and fruit driven. What are you going to be looking for when you taste Morellino di Scanzano? generosity uh, in the fruit so the wines are like very ripe in fruit very spicy like cinnamon nutmeg but also very smooth and round very ready to drink always what is the great variety the great variety is sangiovese as you can see in other appellations of tuscany but in this case because of the sea influence sangiovese becomes more um I would say more supple, uh, less astringent, so not too dry, and uh, a little bit sweeter without being sweet, if you see what I'm saying. Wait a minute, I'm getting thirsty. Mm. So this is what Scansan is about. It's about how easy the juice of the Sangiovese gets down your throat because of the fact that the wine is very ready. Also, Sangiovese delivers always a lot of beautiful acidity, so juiciness, but together with it, 85% of the wine must be made with Sangiovese, and then you might be introducing some other varieties, such as Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Syrah, or local varieties like Alicante, which maybe you know it as Grenache, or in Sardinia, Canonao. But also, there could be their Chile Giallo, Okay, so like other indigenous varieties that might add up some complexity to the wine. Then what you want to know is that there is two kinds of wines over there. One is the Morellino di Scanzano Annata, which is a wine that is going to be released in the market, usually without any oak. And uh, the, like as of uh, March or 
May after the vintage, uh, after the harvest, you, the wine is already there. So very crisp, light, refreshing, not too much structure. Then there is reservas. Some of these wines can age for 20, 30, 40 years. And that is the case of the wines that are reserva. They must age by law for a minimum of two years of which one has to be in oak. As a result, you will find more tannins, more structure, usually more length as well. What would you have the wines with? <laughs> this is a good part, right? Like, uh, I, you know, given that this wine is made on the sea, I cannot think of a better match than beautiful red tuna with extra virgin olive oil, like something really simple, like lightly cooked, like grilled maybe. So you have a little bit of that charcoal element coming through and maybe why not? You know, I would add up some crunchy bacon on top, but hey, what doesn't go well with bacon, I guess. But if you were a vegetarian, then Something that I think would pair really well with these could be a parmigiana with a beautiful, maybe some smoky uh, aubergine over there or some smoked cheese to put on top. Above all, with the reserva, that would be good. Hey man, pasta al pomodoro, a beautiful amatriciana. So once again, with a little bit of guanciale to go with this would be perfect. Um, you know, I'm getting hungry now talking about it. One last thing, one last thing, guys because I want to take you there. Scansano is in, a, in an area called Maremma, which is considered to be like the California of Tuscany. You will find uh, uh, like uh, lots of horses that just run about, uh, beautiful nature, but also natural hot water spa. Imagine that, Saturnia. The Romans found out about, about it, like 2000 years ago. They found out there was this beautiful like sulfurous underground water that was popping out in this incredible uh, like park where you can go chill out you know just you relax in the hot water maybe you have a nice glass of a little bit chiller Morelia di Scansano because when it's summertime always remember to chill your red wines do not be afraid even if some or or the waiter is gonna look at you oddly because you asked to chill the red wines you say man I gotta drink the wine not you so I cheer to you people, wine lovers, follow me on my YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet. Please drop your comments, I'll be answering each and every one of them and follow me also on my social medias, filippo.bartolotta on Instagram and all the other stuff that is out there. And for me, this is all from the Italian wine lands. Cheers.